Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, thank you for being here and if you are new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really, really help me out in where I am trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so let's move on. So today I am going to be looking at this product here by John Frieda. It's called Lush, uh, Luxurious Volume Root Booster Blow Dry Lotion. Okay, why would I be using this? So what I really, really like to do on my channel is review all sorts of products for fine hair, for creating all sorts of different styles. So that could be a whole range of different products. But predominantly my choice, which I really, really love to review, is products which help hair appear thicker, fuller, and help you create a thicker looking head of hair, whether you're a man or a woman. I've had so many fantastic comments on my channel from men and women, both trying to style their hair in a bit more of a different way or looking for some tips and tricks and hints. And if I can help out, then absolutely amazing. So today we are looking at the, as I say, the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Root uh, Booster. Now you may think, let's get something out of the way here, you may think that my hair looks super thick, super full. I've actually got fine hair and in places a little bit finer. I'm not losing hair, it's just what the Lord gave me, um, but my hair sometimes often needs a little bit of help to get it into styles like what I've got going on here. So do not be put off. If you're looking at my hair now and you're thinking he's got masses of hair, why on earth is he worrying about volume? Why on earth is he talking about thin hair or thinning hair even? Because of course, remember, you can have thinning hair and it can still look on a woman absolutely amazing and really, really gorgeous. And if you're a man, you've got thinning hair, it can still look really, really smart and sleek. But as I say, I've got fine hair. So what's going on here now is all smoke and mirrors because I do not have thick hair. I have fine hair. I have a rather a lot of it, but I do not have thick hair in the slightest. So this is all tricks and tips going on. And one or two you may well be able to take away from this clip today to be able to try it out for yourself. So let's have a look at the product straight off. So why would you want to use this, for example? Why would you want to use a root boosting product? So a root boosting product, the easiest way to explain it is if you've got fine hair, very often fine hair can be so so soft, so supple, so sleek that it sits absolutely flat, like concrete flat on your head. It's very, diff uh, very difficult often for fine hair to hold texture um, and to hold volume. If you're having a bit of a weighty style, and I, when I say that, I mean if you've got sort of off to one side like what I've got here, if you've not got the right products, what you'll find is this will stay, but the top will fall flat and it will just flop and it will just look absolutely disastrous. Turn that around and a woman's hair, if you have curls and fine hair, that can often sit flat and it can just drop out so you're left with a very lank hairstyle. But if you use the right products and if you dry your hair in the right way, then with the help of a product like this, you can really enjoy a very full bodied hairstyle, which is going to last and last and last. Now, I will be honest, I was not a fan of this product first off when I first purchased this. I bought it before and I actually threw it away. But I bought this again because it's not on my channel. I haven't actually reviewed the uh, woman's John Frieda uh, volumized range. I have reviewed a John Frieda men's range, uh, which is uh, an absolute favourite of mine, but unfortunately I think it's been discontinued now. Um, but do have a look at that on my channel because it is a really interesting one. It's one of my favourites. I believe it's the Barber sort of range. Have a look, John Frieda, my channel, you will certainly come across it. Um, but as I say, I haven't done the woman's uh, John Frieda shampoo and conditioner, but this root booster, I've purchased it once before. And there is a few sort of, you have to get it the right way. Let's put it this way. Otherwise, you won't be enjoying that real nice volumized, the best sort of hair you can have with this product. Now, why? So, for example, this, I really do think that you need to have a brush and you need to have a blow dryer with this. I tried it before with just spraying it through my hair once um, when my hair was much shorter and then just flicking it off to the side and then sort of thinking that it would help the hair stand up a little bit. It doesn't. It just flops. It's got like a hairspray type smell. Um, and it's from if you're just using it in wet hair, perhaps slightly damp hair, and then thinking you can just rough dry or rough style your hair, you can't. You need to make a little bit more time for yourself with this. You need to polish the hair out with a brush and a blow dryer, and you need to really get some lift in there as well. So for me, you may think that's a bit strange for a young man to be wanting that in his hair, but if you want a style like mine, and if you want something which is going to last throughout the day, it really does just pay off. So what I do is I go all throughout my hair, sort of part my hair off slightly with my fingers, and then I spray this through. 
literally about three pumps through each parting. I usually do about four three partings on the top of my head. So I realized I said that a bit quicker then. So I have a part my hair three ways or four across the top and spray this all the way down through. And then I take a brush and just very, very quickly what I do is I dry the hair off to one side, always the opposite direction of how I'm wearing my hair. And then afterwards I flip my hair forward and then I dry it forward and then I flip my hair off to the opposite side and then I dry it all through as well. And very often what I may do is I may get the brush and I may just lift it up towards the ceiling because what that does is that helps your hair stand away from the scalp as much as possible, giving you the most thickest, fullest possible style you can have for your hair. Everybody's hair is different. Everybody's fine hair is different, remember, as well. There is not one type of fine hair. Some people may have baby, baby, fine texture hair. It can still look amazing. Other people may have thick, textured hair but fine amounts of it on their head all fine hair but very very different and you all need to use those different types of tricks and tips um, to be able to style your hair but this in the right way using a blow dryer and i say a brush is fantastic now of course for women's hair you do it slightly different you'd section the hair off all through and then with a round brush you'd go through each section and then you'd wait until your hair was about 80 percent dry 90 percent dry and when you can still feel a little bit of moisture in there then you'd go all throughout the head and then you'd use a round brush and then you would go through with a blow dryer um, on, a, on a medium heat, going through section by section, building that volume. Fantastic. I've actually used this when I've actually styled my man's hair. She has Alzheimer's, bless her. So I look after her sometimes and way before the pandemic. Um, I often have done my nan's hair with the assistance of my mum. I absolutely love her, love styling her myself. Um, and... This brought my nan's hair up absolutely amazing. She has a very layered cut, um, coloured hair, and just absolutely stunning, gives so much more volume. So for men, you don't obviously dry your hair in the same way as women. What I always say, if you're wearing your hair off to the right, blow dry it off to the left. If you're wearing your hair to the left, blow dry it off to the right. Always dry your hair in the opposite direction you're wearing it. And with a product like this, what's going to happen is because you're going against that natural grain of how your hair is falling and how it grows, you're going to get that added volume as well. So it's going to make your hair look even more thicker and fuller. Now let's move on. Let's tell you a little bit about this product. Because as I say, I've given you a negative and I've given you a positive. So the negative being it can sound a little bit like a hairspray product, which is fine. I love using hairsprays, love using free sprays. But when I want a root boosting product, I don't necessarily want that. I want something which is going to be quite soft, quite sort of a um, quite of a subtle uh, fragrance. But I want it to work on my hair. I want it to be really good, sort of real good structure so I can then go on and style my hair. So I want it to work for me. Um, I don't want that crunchiness though. If I want to use hairspray, I will. A root booster should be different. And this one with used with heat certainly is. Okay, so let's tell you a little bit about it on here. So give your hair a lift where it needs it most. Our root boosting blow dry lotion contains a root lifting complex to boost hair at the roots. I would have liked to have known what that is. It doesn't actually say on the packaging what that is at all, the uh, root lifting complex. I imagine it's got something sort of like, very often in root boosting products, you may find there be sort of polymers or proteins in there, which bind to the hair and lift it up um, to give that temporary sort of thickening element. Um, but I can't tell you exactly what's in here. I can just tell you with using with heat, it works really, really well. It's got an added tip on here under directions. So start with towel dried hair and spray generously, concentrating on the roots for crown volume. So again, it's aimed predominantly at women, but I always hate that because of course, men like to look good as well. Men want good hair. Men like to feel confident, smart, and hair has a huge contender with that as well. But of course, predominantly for women and works amazing for women as well. Um, okay, and it's got added heat protection. So we do a lot with our hair, don't we? So it's really important that you use a heat protectant because of course, is going to keep heat damage at bay and when you are getting volume or when you are trying to make your hair a bit thicker we are all guilty of using that blow dryer just a little bit too much or perhaps a little bit more than what we'd normally do and then of course you must make sure that you look after your hair as well through that it's 125 mils and i always like to just make uh make a statement just to make sure that people know that this doesn't affect the nape of my neck it doesn't make my scalp feel uncomfortable itchy because of course you do spray it onto your scalp with your roots it doesn't make me red it doesn't make me uncomfortable it is quite a nice product to use if you're using it in wet hair just be cautious because what i used to do and um, which is why i didn't actually like the product at, at start is that i had much shorter hair i bought the product thinking root booster fine hair sits flat 
I wanted something to lift my hair up. Um, I wanted to leave it a little bit damp, then spray hairspray through it. But I was finding that this was like a liquid hairspray. So I wasn't using it right. So you must use like a rough brush or um, like a blow dry brush if you're uh, a lady watching this or if you're a man like myself um, and you've got my type of length hair. And then do use sort of like an aerated sort of rectangular brush because that really, really does help um, get the best out of the product and really lift the roots away from the scalp, making you have the best style you can possibly have. Um, so we've got a little bit of a label here, which I can just peel off just to tell you a little bit more on the back. So I would like to open this just to get a bit more of a detailed view. And I would love to be able to tell you what that root lifting complex is on here. I'm sure if I'd done the research online, I would find it. But I always think if you've bought a product, not everybody uses online, um, and at the end of the day, I want a product to work for me. There is so much of a of a, a choice of product uh, of all different product brands and um, all different things for root lifting hair. So if it's not got it on here and it doesn't work for me, I'm afraid that I'll move on. It sounds vicious, but. It is a good product, but of course, if it's telling you it's got something in here, I want to know what it's got in there. I want to know what I'm using on my scalp. Um, let me just have a look on here with you. So as I say, wheat protein, um, going back to what potentially makes the hair feel thicker in the roots, wheat protein is very often put in products for fine hair or for volumizing hair, because what that does, if you imagine the cuticle of the hair, the wheat proteins or sort of products of such like that bind around the hair, plumping the hair up, making it appear thicker and fuller to stand away from the scalp so that's actually on there i actually forgot that was on there so i'm glad i come across that while you were with me on the clip anyway okay um what else have we got in here so i, I haven't got anything in here which i can other than that recognize a lot of it else is sciencey names um so it's really great for me just to pinpoint that i it doesn't give me any irritation in my scalp because looking at the ingredients here it possibly could sort of give you the impression or would i use it because it would make my scalp a little bit sore it doesn't so of course just be cautious using it yourself but for me if you use a, if you use the right brush and you use a blow dryer in one hand and a brush in the other and that tip with always blow drying your hair upwards towards the ceiling for lift and volume and then off to the opposite direction you are wearing your hair like what I've got today. So I'm wearing my hair off to this side. So I was blow drying my hair off to the opposite side. It makes a huge difference. And you will be interested to know that I have used this in my hair today. And it certainly does help me create those thicker looking stand up styles. My hair is as long as my chin now. So without a root boosting product, then my hair would just absolutely flop. It's fine texture. So it just looks quite lank, sort of washed out, horrible, not very nice. Um, so using the right products, fine hair can absolutely still be amazing. Thinning hair can be amazing. And even if you're balding in areas as well, there are so many tricks, tips out there. And like I say, smoke and mirrors can make your hair look really, really super thick and full. And of course, it all helps for confidence when we've got good looking hair as well. So ultimately, I would give this product a real high rating and I would certainly recommend you trying it out for yourself. Um, price wise, it's usually on offer, I find, or usually part of the three for two range here in the UK in supermarkets and stores like Superdrug Boots, where you can buy a lot of personal products. For me, I paid recently three pounds for this. Um, and last thing to say, I would absolutely recommend you saying, uh, saying. I'm the one saying it. I would absolutely recommend you trying this because it certainly does work used in the right way, but just approach with caution and probably don't use it in damp hair. But other than that, a really good product for creating volume and lift. I mean, what I always would say as well is whenever you try a product, first of all, give it Give it a couple of chances, because as I say, when I first bought it, I put it away in the drawer for a week because I didn't have, like how it made my hair feel. Um, but then have a look at it again, sort of play around with the product, try using it with a blow dryer, and I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. OK, thank you very much indeed for watching. It's been great to have you uh, uh, watching this, and it's great always to have your company on my channel. Thank you so much for all your views and comments. It really does mean the world to me. So until next time, well, I hope you'll join me. We will see you then. Bye bye now.